Hey, I'm Lieutenant Bob Irish, and you're on the job with EFD. Hi, I'm Eric Wilking, Assistant Fire Chief and Training Officer of the Exeter Fire Department. Today we're going to be conducting flashover recognition and safety training at the New Hampshire Fire Academy in Concord, New Hampshire. We're at the New Hampshire Fire Academy in Concord, New Hampshire, conducting flashover training. A flashover container consists of two storage containers that have been modified to allow us to have a fire inside without ruining the container and have the firefighters in relative safety. The preparation of the flashover container consists of lighting a small fire or a crib fire inside that would simulate a room and content fire in a dwelling. While the fire is kindled and, the, and gets going, the fire is a check for their PPE, their proper gear, their air packs. Everybody's checked by a safety officer before they enter the can. During the flashover simulator, it's a great fire behavior laboratory. Often, the fire is during the flashover simulator training can see the ignition phase. This is a phase of the fire that they rarely get to see in the real because by the time the fire when is called to a fire, it's grown far beyond this ignition phase. The fire then moves through its growth phase and then into flashover. And all of these levels and phases are witnessed in the flashover simulator. During all these phases, we see things like smoke layering, where the smoke will be thicker at the ceiling and better visibility be at the floor. This is due to the heat. The fire has a lot of difficulty seeing the high levels of heat that are possible warning signs of flashover due to the thick layers of smoke at the ceiling. Recognizing the warning signs are the reasons we conduct the training. Some of the warning signs may be smaller buildings with inadequate ventilation. We haven't opened up enough windows or doors or don't have correct and timely ventilation to protect the firefighters. These can be potentially fatal because the firefighter without ventilation can easily be trapped in a flashover condition. The firefighter will use water sparingly when entering the, the flashover condition. You want to put water on all the surfaces, starting at the ceiling and the walls, to cool them down. All of those surfaces will off-gas, giving flammable gases that can ignite. Then work at the floor as well. By using a solid or straight stream, the firefighter is less likely to disrupt the thermal balance. Thermal balancing is when the heat stays at the ceiling and cooler air is at the floor. If you use a fog pattern or water incorrectly, there's a good chance you're going to disrupt that thermal balance. That thermal balance that allows the heat to stay up could then come down to the floor, cooking the firefighter as much like you would a lobster. The steam in that fog pattern is going to penetrate the gear and actually work against the firefighters, creating that high heat, and they could easily get steam burns. As the firefighter continues to work in the can and see the flashovers, they can happen many times. A good flashover operator can pull between 12 and 16 flashes in a 20 minute period. Each time allowing the, the fire to develop, smoke the layer, get the right carbon monoxide level in the smoke, and then the flash will occur. And each time the fire is inside the can can rotate and get vis better visibility. They can use tools like a thermal imaging camera inside to be allow the fire to see different levels of heat higher at the ceiling, typically lower heat levels at the floor. They can use nozzle techniques, that penciling technique we talked about, the solid or straight stream on the surfaces, as well as being able to identify how far in the building that they need to be. A flashover that can occur in a building easily can trap firefighters that are more than five to seconds inside a room or inside the building. Firefighters crawling in their gear can only move at about two and a half feet a second. And if a flashover occurs and you were not to be able to recognize it, you'd have difficulty getting out of the structure or getting out of the room to safety. Flashover is defined as full involvement. Everything in the building, from ceiling to floor, ignites at about the same time. All the surfaces when heated give off flammable gases, and carbon dioxide allows the fire to develop through the smoke. When a flashover occurs, it doesn't care if you're the firefighter in gear, a chair, a table, or any kind of other appliance in the room. Everything giving off gas at the same time will ignite at the same time. This is a potentially fatal thing for all firefighters or all people in the building, and this is why we conduct the training. When the training is completed, all the firefighters are checked again, the gear is inspected, air packs are inspected before they recycle back through for another evolution, and everybody has made sure that there are no injuries due to the flashover container.